Hello, today we are showing how 3 tire architecture worked in Visual Studio 2010. So, first we are loading Visual Studio 2010. Now, we are creating one website file, new website, pass here location 3 tire slash and ok and use by default visual c sharp okay. in solution explorer we add one page we are inserting one page add new item web form visual c sharp and page name is insert insert dot asps now add in design in we are inserting two text box and one button this is the first text box this is the second text box and this is the button now in source we design properly it is not properly because if you want to use properly then you have to use table tit detail but currently we are using only br it's okay there is no problem now but design not tray we are creating two text boards one is for name and one is for city and now we change the button name insert now we create one database add new item SQL server database database name by default database identity of then there is no problem add yes okay in database we are adding one table with two field name where here city where here and now save this table but by default name is table one it's also no problem so I use the by default name table one now most important part is you to add one folder add asp.net folder not add new folder add asp.net folder on this folder we have to select this app code because you can uh, add only in this folder so now new folder bal we are creating here two folder bal and dl bl means business access layer and dl means data access layer BAL and DAL in 3 tier architecture mostly there are three layers first is presentation layer second one is business access layer and third one is data access layer uh, this insert file is on presentation layer so there is no required to create one folder so in BL add new item I insert over here one class file class file the class file name BAL INS. I write over here BL so I can identify that this is the BL folder file. So I use BAL INS add. Now same way I add one class file in DL. The name is DAL INS. DAL INS add. Now balins.cs and dalins.cs in balins.cs i remove this by default method and add our method public integer ins1 public integer ins1 and in bl file we are getting two values string a 
string a comma string b we get value over here from presentation layer but currently we are using this two variable copy and same this code replace on this dl it is not necessary that you are using here same name but it's okay no problem there is no problem but you cannot use uh, must you must you have to use this and this only you can use over here a b c d e f whatever now in insert file on button click event we are passing here now we are passing two textbox values in bl insert file so first we have to create one object bal ins let's see bl ins is a is your class file name bl ins bi is equal to new bl ins now bi dot ins1 ins1 is your method name I, if you are not getting here ins1 then you are doing such mistake pass here that's about so on uh, you are getting over here string a string b because you are using string a and string b in bl insert file that's what's one dot text comma that's what's two dot text we are passing two values here this value we are getting in string a text box one value we are getting in string a string a and text box two value we are getting in string b now pass this value to data access layer file so first we have to create one object dlins di is equal to new dlins di dot uh, ins1 is a method of data access layer file dl file di insert we are passing to over here a dot two string comma b dot two string uh, let remember here you have to pass only a dot two string b dot two string not you have to pass text box one and text box two now a dot two string b dot two string now data access layer file uh, passing here two value a dot two string b dot two string so this value we are getting in data access layer file so first we have to use using system dot data to library for database connectivity using system dot data dot sql client and here sql connection c o n is equal to new sql connection and we have to pass over here a database path so right click on database properties and select data source and pass here now pass over database connectivity connection open connection close now sql command cm this is a basic step of database connectivity pass over here insert query insert into table 1 values and pass two values let remember pass you have to a dot two string and b dot two string because you are not using here text box one text box two text box one and text box two is inside the presentation layer and currently you are in data access layer so pass over here a dot two string b dot to string now you are using over here int int is a return type so you have to pass some value means return some value so 
you are using here return so if your uh, query inserting successfully then you are getting over here one otherwise you are getting anything now in bl insert file you have to use again return over here so when you pass from here it get over here return now I return from here so I get this value in this insert.cs insert.aspx.cs so I get I using one variable integer i i is equal to if i is is equal to is equal to 1 then record insert at success so I pass one message response dot write record inserted successfully now set a startup page and run wait until browser load we are waiting for local host it takes such time to load Pass over here Noble. Noble is your name and city is New York. Now insert. Record inserted successfully. So your record will be inserted. Now we are checking the record inserted or not. right click show table data ok noble new york we are getting here again what happened in this insert.aspx.cs file we passed the two value in business access layer file text one text two in business access layer file we are getting two values in string a and string b that value we pass in data access layer file dl insert in data access layer file we are inserting now what is the use of bl insert business access layer file if you want to pass any types of condition means in a if you are getting name abc then you don't want to pass any name then you have to write over your condition if a is equal to is equal to ABC else okay. means any types of condition which you want to pass that condition you have to pass only in only in business access layer business access layer useful for passing condition and data access layer useful for connecting with database okay thank you